I'm looking to publish a series of books that celebrate three of Sheffield's most iconic venues of recent decades. King Mojo used to reside at 555 Pittsmoor Road. It was opened by Pete and Jeff Stringfellow in 1964. This teenage club brought in some of the some acts that went on to be some of the biggest in the entire world. Jimi Hendrix, Tina and Ike Turner, The Who, Pete Floyd, they all made the pilgrimage to this amazing teenage club. And the memories of the punters that went there just stayed with them their entire life. In the summer of 1970, Sheffield became home to the biggest nightclub in all of Europe in the shape of Club Fiesta Cabaret Club. Now the Club Fiesta Cabaret Club for me was, uh, it just kind of demonstrated Sheffield's confidence in the early 70s. It was the biggest night in the whole of Europe. And it attracted the biggest stars in Sheffield, you know, people like the Beach Boys, the Steve, Stevie Wonders of this world, they all played there. Now the limit opened on the cusp of punk rock in 1978. This venue uh, provided a launch pad for loads of Sheffield acts that went on to major, major things. People like the Human League, Concert Ellen Angel, Clock DVA, Pulp, uh, vice versa, they went on to be ABC, they all played Samuel Giggs at the Limit Club. The Dirty Stopouts Guide actually started life uh, as a PR campaign to help the city's uh, ailing nightlife many moons ago. I was commissioned to come up with a PR campaign and I called it the Dirty Stopouts Guide. Um, and it was, uh, that kind of gave me uh, the idea to find out what was special about specific uh, bygone decades in nightlife and the first book uh, I did was the Dirty Stopouts Guide to 1970s Sheffield. This was phenomenally well received, became uh, an instant uh, bestseller um, and I realised you know this had the potential uh, to work in any town or city right across the country but say it is a, a really kind of big job. Each volume is a, is a massive piece of work, you know, it involves interviewing hundreds of people and spends weeks and months trawling through archives and tracking down decades old photos. But it's only that way that we, that we come up with a quality product that takes people on a journey back to a time when music, dance floors and fashion were the only thing that really mattered. <laughs> 